Hello Bluetooth, one and only Icebound Glaceon, and this is an OBS tutorial on the best streaming and recording settings. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is figure out which OBS you'll be using is either the 32 or 64 bit. Uh, you'll have to go ahead and right click on the start menu at the bottom left of your computer if you're using Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. If you aren't, you could alternatively go to the start button and type in system. It should also come up that way as well. And the thing you'll be looking for is system type. Click, uh, you'll look for either 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, once you found out you have a 64-bit computer, you'll do one extra step. Otherwise, just keep it on default OBS. So you'll want to right-click on the quick launch icon or the shortcut. And you want to go open file location. Then you want to go to OBS Studio, click on bin. Go to 64 bits and then find the obs 64 bitexe right click on it send to desktop create shortcut and that'll be the launcher you use from now on just because it's a little bit better for obs i don't know, really no easy way of describing that <laughs> there we go so i have reset obs for the purpose of this tutorial go to general i like having it on dark you don't have to whatever Always minimize, disable that, and on stream, there's a little application I found to help you find the best server for streaming. I'll put a link in the description, it's called Twitch Bandwidth Test. Uh, you'll want to set the region to test to whichever region you're from. I put it on all of them just because, you know, I was curious. Uh, for me, it's Seattle, Washington, and I get 10,000 kilobytes per second, 30 millisecond ping, quality, lossless, good. So I'll just go here. I'll put to Seattle, Washington. Uh, you'll go to your dashboard on Twitch if you're using Twitch, or if you're using YouTube, you'll have to go to your uh, what is it? your YouTube channel settings. No one be in channel settings. I can't remember. Well, then you'll put the streaming key here. Uh, next thing you can do is you can go to outputs. You want to put the output mode to advanced. There we go. So if you have a GeForce graphics card, you want to put it on NVIC H.264. If you don't have a GeForce graphics card, but you have an Intel CPU, you can put it on QuickSync H.264. And if you have an AMD graphics card or CPU, uh, or you don't have either of those, you can put it on X.264. But I'll put on NVIC for the for this video because that's what I have. There you go. Rescale output you want to put to 720p. There we go. Uh, rate control, keep it on default. Uh, bit rates. And the minimum you'll want to have it on is 1800. Since I have you know better connection as you can see on here, I can put it to 2500. There we go. And then for the key frame intervals, you want to put it to 2. Uh, the rest of it you'll keep on default, GPU defaults, so there we go. And I will also show you the recording settings. Type is standard. Recording output, I like to put it on MP4. You could also put it on uh, FLV, it's completely up to you. There we go, encoder, I like to put it on NVIC. Uh, rescale, this is where you either choose between 720p, 60fps for fast-paced uh, fast motion games. Or you could do 720p, 29.97 FPS. Or you could do 1080p, 30 FPS. It, as I said, it's entirely up to you and what the quality you want for your viewers. Uh, Bitrate, keep it on default. Uh, rate control, default. Key intervals, 2. And that's pretty much it for that. Uh, audio, uh, you can put it on 48 buts. Um, you know, most mics record at regular quality other than studio quality. Uh, video, make sure the output is scaled to 720, and this is where you set the FPS if you're changing that. And you can set your hotkeys if you want to, advanced, keep it on default, click apply, click OK. So the last little tidbit I have for you guys is for your sources. So if you're recording a full screen application, make sure you have it on game capture. If you're recording a windowed mode game, like a game that doesn't take up the full screen, or it does, but it's windowed mode, you want to put it on window capture. And if you're recording your browser or anything on your desktop, make sure you have it on display capture. 
This just ensures you get the best quality uh, frame rate so it's lossless in your game and quality for the actual thing you're recording. Now that's just something I've noticed as I've been recording. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you guys dislike that video, then why, why are you watching? Just, just shoo, go, go do other stuff. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.